Um, so if you've not done it before, obviously it can seem quite scary, but it's really not. Um, you've just got to, if you do the right techniques, you just get better and better and better. And your your breath hold might be really short at first. It might be only like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, but it's one of those things that genuinely practice does make it better. The more you do it, you'll find the longer your breath hold gets, and then it's only when you get tired that it starts to get shorter again. Um, so, first of all, before you're going to do any kind of breath hold, you've just got to completely relax. You've got to make sure you're warm, because if you're shivering, then your body's using up too much oxygen. Um, so you've just got to completely just like, kind of, like some jelly, just do a jelly yoga, kind of relax. Jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. And then what you normally do is you normally just, you don't normally do this sort of thing standing up. I'll teach you the technique now and then we'll kind of sit down and relax and do it. Um, if you're go doing some proper freediving, normally you're always with somebody else. You never freedive alone and you will often just float on the surface um, or be on the side of the wall like that to do your kind of breathing. Obviously right now we're just going to sit. Sitting isn't great because it crunches up so you can't breathe as much oxygen in but it will do for now we're not going for some crazy freediving records we're just trying to be mermaids so <clears throat> first of all what you need to do so again it's like if anyone who does yoga does anyone do yoga okay so that's really good for this um so it's just general slow breathing and relaxing so you're going to start in your stomach um, and you've got to fill your stomach with air and you make it as big as possible and then it works its way up to your chest then to your throat and then finally to your mouth so first of all just breathe in and out of your stomach and make your stomach as big as you can so you just go and it's always in and out through the mouth so just take a deep breath in as big as you can in your stomach and then breathe it all out Okay, now do the same thing, ignore your stomach now, go up to your chest, and try and just breathe air into your chest, try and just focus there, so it's just, just get it rise, and one thing you got to be careful to do, I'm just one thing you got to be careful not to do is this, don't go, because that's actually restricting air, so you keep shoulders down, just the chest, so it's and then lastly you'll take it in your throat and your mouth but we'll do that in a second so for now I just want you to slow breathe just, just breathe in for three and out for six what you want to make sure you don't do is hyperventilate hyperventilating is the so you don't want, don't want to do that at all it, you, they used to think it was a technique good at freediving but all it does it, they used to say that you could get more oxygen in that's not what it does it slows down your CO2 signals so when you are holding your breath for a long time you get certain signals that let you know you want to come up for air you feel, uh, you feel tightness in your chest you'll start feeling a swallow <coughs> motion and then if you've held your breath for long enough you'll start getting the convulsions in your stomach and then it works up to your body so if you ever watch any food driving competitions, it can look quite violent because they're doing this, but it's okay. So, but if you hyperventilate, it stops those signals. So you don't have more oxygen, you just don't get those signals. So you don't know you need to come up yet, you think you're fine, and then next thing, black out. So never ever, even when you come up, get air, don't go, because that's just the wrong thing to do. So we'll just do some slow breathing now. So just in for three and out for six to your own pace. So just, And it doesn't need to be anything too focused, you don't need to or anything like that. It's just, and just imagine you're like just trying to just be as loosey goosey as possible, like you're in a, a translucent state type thing. Just. You just want to get to that point where you just feel relaxed. You don't feel like headed or dizzy or just in a moment where you're like and so what you want what I want you to do before you're going to do a breath hold just do that slow gentle breathing to relax yourself um, optimum amount of time is for two minutes um, and then you're ready to go and do your breath hold when you're going to do your breath hold <coughs> you do uh, what's called a final breath so and that's when you take it into stomach and to the chest <coughs> and up so first of all you take in 70% 
blow it all out. You know when we were blowing the air out earlier, <coughs> and then that's when you do that. So don't take. So don't go as much as you can, but like 70%. So for example, I'll do it, and then I blow it out, spit it out, and then. <laughs> and it's gonna feel horrible. It's gonna feel way too full up. You're gonna be like, this is awful. I don't like the feeling of this at all. And you're gonna go, I don't wanna hold that much breath. But that is what's gonna let you be able to hold your breath for longer. And that's why you gotta do it more and more times. And then it kind of doesn't stretch your insides, but it kind of makes you more used to it. So what you can do as well is you can take a really deep breath in, okay? <laughs> and then Stretch, stretch to one side, <laughs> breathe in, and then this just gets, that just gets air to the areas that you won't necessarily have air usually. So good stretch, good relax. So now what I want you guys to do now, I want you to do it with me, you take in 70%, breathe it all out, spit it out, and then do the final breath. And then just hold it for as long as you're comfortable, just in this stood position, and then we'll do this end down, okay? So, you ready? 70%, spit it out. Spit it out. And then... I'm just going to speak now, make sure you relax, keep holding it if you can, but relax, don't. And then when you're ready, just... Did you do that? Is he still holding it? Well, we're stood up, so let it out for now because you don't want to hold your breath too long standing up. <laughs> um, so that was really, really good. So, what we're going to do now is I want everyone to just sit down in a relaxed position. As I said earlier, sitting down isn't Sorry. great for holding your breath because you're all scrunched up. Um, but to sit down so you're comfortable. I'm just going to do a few moments, just a slow How about breathing. On your knees? Yeah, you can sit on your knees if you can. I can't because my knees are dodgy. Um, but if you can sit on your knees, if you can stretch up in any way, feel free. Just get comfortable. But just remember what the breath hold you do now. Think, oh, I did really well. You're going to do even better because you're all scrunched up. So I just want you to do, I'm going to do 12 breathing in really slow. Sorry. So just sit there to yourself, really relax, close your eyes, and you want to um, do the slow breathing I mentioned earlier, but in for three, out for six, and just feel as easy <coughs> as you can, and do it 12 times, okay? So I'm going to do my 12 times, and then we'll come off of this. Everyone do it together? Just at your own pace. Yeah, my one. <coughs>
you're ready, 70% in. Yeah. Spit it all out. And then into the stomach, into the chest. Just sit there, relaxed, holding your breath. Okay, if you're still holding your breath, you're at about a minute. <coughs> One minute fifteen. Is that who's still in? One minute forty. If one wants to take a quick look at Claudia, she's got the convulsions. I'm not worried about her at all. She's done, she's a qualified free diver as well. So. Okay, that's two minutes, just relax now. Well done, everyone, you were just back. Well, for this competition, you don't need to get that close. Um, if you think about when, if you remember when I said that it had been about a minute, to do too late for this pool, take you 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So it's not about how long you can hold your breath, but when you're doing those kind of exertions, obviously you can hold your breath for less time because you're using up oxygen by doing anything. Um, but it makes it less scary when you know, oh, like, oh, I've just held my breath for a minute and that's only going to take a few seconds. So it's just something you need to remember. The last thing you need to know is recovery breath. When you come up <coughs> out of the water, as I said earlier, don't... <gasps> you're going to have <coughs> held your breath, so you're full of air. So as opposed to normally when you see someone come out of the water and they go <gasps> sort of thing, you're not going to do that because you're already full of air. So you're going to come up and you're going <sighs> to drop all the air out to you and then you <sighs> So it's a sharp breath in and a relaxed breath out. And then that's how you avoid going <sighs> yeah. hyperventilating. So yeah. Sharp in, relaxed out. So everyone just do three of those with your <sighs> That's it. And normally three or four is enough, you're recovered type thing. And that's, that's what you need, especially if you're going up and down lots of times. You need to have that recovery. And then the last thing is, when you're, you don't need to worry about it in the pool so much, but when you're in the sea um, and you're coming up, if you've, you've dug down pretty deep, you've done a good few poses and you're ready to float, you're ready to go up and normally you'll just float up so the cameraman can get a couple more shots on the way up. Um, you're, because you're going to feel full of air, a lot of the time people will start to breathe out before they reach the surface. They'll go, and to expect to go, when they get to the top. Do not do that, because one, when you're already in this state of you've been holding your breath and you're a little bit more deprived of oxygen than you normally would be, you don't quite think straight and your body makes mistakes. So if you breathe out before you hit the surface, your body might automatically go, before you've got to the top. And then obviously you breathe in a bunch of water and that's not what you want. So as much as you need to breathe, just get to the surface and then when you're at the surface, drop it out, recovery breaths. <laughs> okay.